quarter to seven Saturday morning. Uh, this week I'm starting off in a small town just outside where I live. They're supposed to be having a uh, community sale, so uh, there definitely wasn't as many sales listed as the past couple weeks. There was around 200. Um, previous weeks it was, it was almost hitting three, so it uh, might be a little. There might be a little less garage sales today. So I'm super early for this sale. I'm just hoping that some people are opening up at seven, so I can kind of get an early start. Um, but I may end up sitting in my car drinking my coffee for a while. Maybe take turn a little right drive. Turn right on Fireside Drive, then turn right. That is so loud. Um, so yeah. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can uh, at least come close to what I've been doing the last turn couple right weeks. Turn right on Starlight. So it's 20 after 7, I've already hit probably 20 sales, which is really good for uh, that time of day. Um, the area that I'm in, the demographic is just awesome. It's all like uh, late 20s, early 30s, my age. So that's typically where you're going to find games is the dads at uh, houses like that. Three houses in a row, I hit places that uh, they said, yeah, I've got lots of video games, but we're keeping them. And they listed like one person said I got a box full of Genesis stuff, which broke my heart because I can't find Genesis stuff anymore. And then another guy said N64 and Super Nintendo, but there was no way they were parting with it. So um, it's positive that the area, you know, there's video games here. Um, I just haven't been lucky with people who want to part with it. So. Uh, people are still opening up. It's a big community sale, as I said. I hit it around 7 o'clock. I, um, like I said, I've hit about 20 sales. So around quarter to 8, people should really start coming out. And it should, I should end up being here for at least another hour. So hopefully it turns up something. All right, so it has not been a good day at all. Um, things are not going well. I picked up a few random NES games, some uh, Wii games, a couple GameCube games, and Ninja Turtle. That's about it. It's um, it's now nine o'clock, and uh, things have just not been going well at all. So this might be one of those days where I get pretty much in 300 meters. Turn left on Victoria Street North. Always interrupting me. Pretty much might get pretty much skunked today. So. Um, yeah, this happens even to uh, the best of us, so. Turn left. Yeah. This is terrible. Yeah, let go of it. You'll know more than me. Yeah. Is there a... Open the games. Oh, there's a couple there. Okay. Maybe the scene could be there. Look how big they are, eh? Yeah. So I guess you probably wouldn't know if it works, eh? It's probably been a while. Well, it, my late husband, he died seven years ago. I mean, I seriously thought I got rid of it, but I found it just behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a controller, that's too bad. 
Um, I cannot, would you take like 20 bucks for it? For all this? Yeah. Yeah, why not? I didn't even know I had it. Yeah, that's why I always ask. People don't uh, think to bring out the old yeah, video game stuff. Do you have any use for this stuff? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm sure. It looks like some Super Nintendo stuff there. I could use that too if, if you don't mind. Yeah. Great. It's going to a good home, I can tell you that. Good. I hope it works for you. Wow. Um, I am loving life right now. I am absolutely speechless. I don't know what to say. Uh, I just asked if they had games. She mentioned Turbo Graphics. I've I heard that once already this summer. Um, Turbo Graphics. Somebody had one. I was like, it's it's so strange to me that people even have this system. So my expectations were low. She went. She thought that she uh, donated it or threw it out is what she said. She came out with this. I am in shock right now. The system itself isn't in great shape and it didn't come with the controller. It's got a chip, but as you guys know, it's got a freaking turbo booster on it. I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, I, this is one of my best finds ever. Uh, just a quick glance at these games. I don't see anything that I know is like super rare, but um, I don't have a whole lot of Turbo Graphics games. And uh, my God, my voice is like <laughs> I'm I'm just in shock that I was able to find this. Holy crap! Just nuts. Um, I'm extremely pumped to get that Turbo Booster. As you can see, the system is uh, taking a bit of a beating, but that Turbo Booster. Thank God. Oh my God, I wanted that so bad. I hate having to use the RF connection on my turbo. And the games, I I, I can't believe they had this many games. Um, yeah, I'm in shock. It's been an awful day, but this may be one of my best. This is a top five find ever for me. I got everything here for 20 bucks. Uh, like I said, she was gonna throw this out or donate it, so um, very, very happy. Hey guys, this is a sale I've hit before. They had tons of video game stuff. The thing is, I think they're resellers. Okay, so I just got a call from uh, my buddy Andrew, who's actually my competition in my area. And uh, I'm going to leave a uh, link to his channel below. He just started a uh, YouTube channel and he started filming his garage sales. So um, it's pretty amazing that considering how well I do, he does just as well. He gets some amazing scores. Anyways, he just picked up what may be the best garage sale find ever. Literally, from what he listed... Um, we're gonna meet up with him right now and I'll, uh, I'll give you guys the intro to Andrew and um, we'll see what he was able to pick up. It sounds pretty damn epic. Uh, this is Andrew. Hey! This is, uh, Andrew runs the uh, VGCC video game swap that I talk about all the time and he's also my main competition in this area. So basically he scored, made a massive, massive pickup. Box full of systems. Do you want to open that up quick? Sure. Several drawers full of Sega CD, Saturn, um, NES stuff. Wow, that's insane. Anyways, guys, if you want to see everything that he picked up in this massive bundle, just uh, head over to his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. What's the name of your channel again? Uh, it's just Jamo911. Right, so I'll leave a link in the description and go check it out. Okay, back at the house. This is today's haul. Uh, I'm actually going to start. I think up top, I picked up a copy of Mario Kart and Cooking Mama Cook Off. I don't believe I had that one. Grab them both, two for five bucks. Uh, another copy of Teen Titans, and uh, I've since learned that the Teen Titans on the Xbox is more valuable, but uh, nonetheless, a really cool game. Copy of Mario Sunshine, uh, two for five again, and another two for five, Star Wars Battlefront and uh, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. I needed that copy of Battlefront, uh, I don't own a black label copy, so. Uh, these two PSP games, two fantastic games, highly recommend Pursuit Force, really good game. Then obviously Ratchet and Clank's fantastic. Got them both for a buck. A couple NES games here. Um, I paid ten bucks for those three. Uh, no bung, um, yeah, it's Nobunga's Ambition. That's the only one I didn't have. Grab the other ones there for trades. I actually thought I, I didn't think I had a Kari Warriors 2, but I did. Um, a DS bundle here worked out well. Super, super clean white DS. Let's see back here. 
Super Mario Brothers. Um, so yeah, white DS with the charger. A couple nice Game Boy games here. Uh, GBA games, Worm, Worms World Party. I'm guessing that one's a little uncommon. Bomberman, I didn't have that. And uh, Legend of Zelda, uh, Minish Cap. So some really nice GBA games. Uh, Mario Kart DS and uh, New Super Mario Brothers. I paid 20 bucks for that bundle, so not a bad deal. A little more than you normally spend, but it was kind of slim pickings today. Uh, I picked up a pair of handcuffs from an 80 year old man who said that he used them for a costume at Mardi Gras one year. So that was pretty cool. I thought it'd be fun to use it for my kids. Not my wife. The old guy asked, and his wife asked what I was planning to do with them, implying that I was going to lock my wife up. Dirty old people. Um, okay, N64 bundle. I came up to a house, asked if they had games. She said yes, we got a whole bunch in the basement, so I expected her to say we're keeping them. Um, she mentioned that her boyfriend wasn't home at the time, but she'd love to sell them, so I convinced her to let me look at them. So she invited me in, and I went down to the basement and he had a ton of N64 stuff. So uh, basically I piled it all up and um, tried to do the cash and face technique with a $50 bill and it just wasn't happening. She said, I can't, he would kill me if uh, I sold him without asking him. So I had to leave my number and thank God she called back. Um, so basically they took the 50 bucks. So there's the system, uh, cables, six controllers, which is really nice. Um, and uh, what, eight games here. Castlevania, Twisted Edge, which I needed. Um, Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero, I needed that one too. Mario Kart 007, Clay Fighter, Knockout Kings, WrestleMania 2000. Uh, the Tremor Pack Plus, which is basically a rumble pack with a slot for the memory card so you can use both at the same time. And uh, yeah, so that was 50 bucks. But uh, a little more than I normally pay, once again, but with all those controllers, they're all in great shape. All the sticks are fantastic, so. Then finally, probably, it's hard to call this my, this has to be my best pickup. It's tough. Um, there was the Super Nintendo boxed, boxed Super Nintendo games with system last year that was fantastic. Uh, Mario RPG, Secret of Evermore, Box and Complete, a couple other games. Uh, and there was the hockey bag full of any uh, SNES and uh, N64 stuff. And then last week there was the two blue duffel bags, Nintendo duffel bags full of stuff. But um, in terms of like rarity and value, just for in Canada you don't find this stuff. If you're living in California, this might be common for you to come across a lot like this, but in Canada it's unheard of. So uh, Turbo Graphics system, pretty beat pretty dirty. Um, it has the turbo booster, which I was extremely pumped about. I think these are going for like 60 or 80 bucks on eBay at least. Uh, basically the turbo boosters allows you to output through a uh, RCA composite cables. Normally it's just the RF system, which kind of sucks because the uh, picture quality is not great. So keeping this, obviously going to throw it in my system right after this video and try it out. Came with the uh, multi tap or was it turbo, the turbo tap. I already have one of those too. And then just some miscellaneous stuff. It came with a Super Nintendo controller extension. Very cool. And a Hudson multi-tap. Which I'm guessing this is probably for Bomberman. I would assume. Because it's made by Hudson. Um, okay, so here are the games. Uh, how did I do this again? Okay, so the first six here were uh, case upgrades. Um, a couple of them didn't have the games, but I ended up having the games, so it actually worked out quite well. Uh, TV Sports Football, Legendary Axe, Dungeon Explorer, Ninja Spirit, Cybercore. I actually didn't have Cybercore. Um, picked up the box for uh, the case for Keith Courage. And then I didn't have these next games. Moto Rotor, Strange Falcon, Psychosis. Sorry, my hand's a little shaky here. I'm using my iPhone today. Uh, Turrican. Chu Man Fu, Military Madness, uh, World Class Baseball, and Ballistics. So those games I didn't have, they'll be going in the collection. A um, couple loose games, Keith Courage, Dungeon Explorer, another copy of Keith Courage, Devil's Crush, missing the uh, uh, top of the case and the uh, manual. 
Bomberman, Gunboat, Bonk's Adventure, another or uh, um, TV Sports Hockey, Power Golf, Alien Crush, and another copy of Gunboat. And then these were just in there. Uh, Victory Run and Power Golf. I have both of those already. So, um, yeah, so everything there was 20 bucks for the uh, Turbo Graphics stuff. And as you can tell in the video that I shot after picking it up, I was extremely pumped to find this stuff. Uh, like I said, I just never find uh, Turbo Graphics stuff. So, I'm pretty excited to go throw that Turbo booster on and go try out a bunch of these games. I don't know anything about most of these. Um, Turrican is the, I think, is Turrican a shooter? I, I could be wrong. I hope it's a shooter. Psychosis. Um, I'm hoping a bunch of these are shooters. Let me know in the comments below what these games are. I don't know much. Like I, like I said, I, I don't have barely any experience with uh, Turbo Graphics stuff. So, like Cybercore, never heard of it. Chu Man Fu, I think, is a puzzle game. Ballistics, no idea what that is. I gotta go try these out. Anyways, feel free to leave a comment below if you uh, are familiar with any of these games and let me know what you think of them. And um, as always, guys, do me a huge favor and like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so, and uh, check out the Facebook page in the links below. Um, the Facebook fans will have seen this. Um, I posted a picture on my Facebook page uh, like five minutes after I picked this up, so it's uh, kind of cool to see. I, a, lot, a lot of times I'll pick stuff up live from the car and I'll post it right to Facebook as I'm actually garage sailing, so it's kind of cool to check that out. Um, the YouTube video doesn't get posted until a week later, so you get to see stuff earlier. Um, yeah, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and um, I'll uh, see you next week.